Seriously, I'm having all kinds of issues. I also have been noticing that when I upload my videos to YouTube lately, that it's giving me this error. I don't know if I've pressed a strange button on my Sony, but it's giving me this error that says something like, you're uploading it in widescreen. Maybe I'm just wide, I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna have to look that up. So I was hitting my little remote control here and it wasn't responding to me. I don't like it when I touch things and they don't respond to me. That sounded inappropriate and I really didn't mean it to be, sorry. Cheers to you with my very small cup from um, the hotel. And forgive me, sometimes I think you guys can tell when I shoot vlogs and I'm not at my house, my camera's always in a different place so it looks more like I'm looking over there. It just happens because um, that's the way I shoot videos. I talk to myself in the feedback thing. So, there you go. I'm in my hotel room. There's my unmade bed behind me. Uh, because I don't have them come in and make my bed every day. I think that's stupid. Um, and as you can see, I've got my yoga vibe music going on. I will tell you this. Let me give you a peek out my window, too. And then I'll give you a tour of some of the... Um, how we travel fit. But outside my window. It's very dreary today. This is Boston. And yesterday when I arrived, see how rainy and kind of dreary it is? This out there, that's where I went running. All along those streets. And I think I went, yeah, I did. I went over here. Over here. All in those areas. So all these people in these buildings here are probably like, who's that woman? But yesterday was beautiful. It was like 60 degrees. But this is... Boston today. Really? Not so. But I'm not complaining because it still is like, I don't know, 50, maybe 50, 45. I think today's the, the highest 45 and that's going to be it the rest of the week. I'm fine with that. From what my Boston peeps tell me, it's usually a lot colder. So I'm fine with that. Um, let's go back in here. And again, unmade bed. Um, they only have these I've got to tell you, like this is really nice and warm. I think you all know I don't really like it nice and warm. These pillows, to die for. I freaking love them. They're so soft. But here is my, here's what I pack. Oh look, it's a bra. Um, I have my compression socks. See, these are all my socks and stuff. This is, I usually put technology cords. I try to keep them all together. Oh, these are my earbuds, which are the only, Earbuds that stay in my ear, they are the best. Earbuds, they are a client, so bear in mind that is my disclosure. I've got my TRX. In case there is not a hotel gym, you always bring your TRX. And we should have in here as well resistance bands because you can do so much with resistance bands. Of course, I always bring my valve slides. Amazing things we can do with that. Oh, the rest is, here's my running glasses. What else do I have in here? I don't even know what half this stuff is. Oh, we'll talk about this later. Dr. Mike Roussel got me this. This is, I hope you can see it. It's about learning to sleep better, Lark. Um, it's something that you wear in your sleep and it monitors your sleep and helps you sleep better. That's a, a whole separate thing. So I'm char I just charge that. Um, of course, here's all of my workout tops. Here's all of my workout bottoms. Nothing exciting there. But then I brought this over here to show you a couple things. Yes, I packed my coconut oil. And yes, they broke it on the plane, which really upset me. But I packed my coconut oil for my coffee over there and also for my skin. And then, as you can see, people, I just asked for when I ordered my room service, cinnamon, and so then I'm just keeping this in my room because I won't even use this the whole week. Um, so I use that. Um, and then here's all of my <laughs> here's all of my goodies. I have to take my confidential business notes out of the way. <laughs> um, here's all of the stuff. So this is pack my protein powder. This is the um, by the way the easiest protein powder for me to pack is GNC chocolate egg protein powder. I don't, I'm not into the vanilla, that's just a taste preference, but this mixed with water, fantastic. 
This is my Genetics HD Pro Sculpt, which I take in the morning. So that's a scoop of that. Oh, crap, where's my other one? Oh, here it is. This is my, kind of look like a drug dealer. Um, these are my branch chain amino acids that I'm going to take before my workout. And then here are all my vitamins. So I've got two different sets here. We've got, this is the um, Genetics HD, the Physio Burn that I take twice a day. And these are my, the probiotics that I'm taking right now. I take one of those a day with a meal. And then hopefully in here, oh, these are my smelly <laughs> multivitamins. These are the GNC Vita Packs. So everything's in there in a nice pack that when you open it up, smells to high heaven. But people, it works. Um, so let me go back over here. We're back, I think. Hold on. Did you end? Ooh. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I also always bring, um, although I, I didn't use the hotel gym here at this Marriott last time, I do know that they have a good gym. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna check it out in it. Obviously, I'm dressed and ready to go. Um, but I always bring stuff kind of assuming that you're not gonna have um, a good hotel gym. So, I'm not really sitting correctly here. Um, always pack so that you have options in case you don't have a hotel gym. So in other words, all that stuff that I just shared with you over there, having, I'm not sitting up straight, having the TRX, having resistance bands, having the valve slides. Um, is that what I said? Resistance bands, TRX, valve slides, and then I always bring some DVDs. Now. I'll be honest with you, um, I, I might bring more DVDs if I really knew that there wasn't going to be a hotel gym where I was going. You don't have to have DVDs and you might not be bringing a laptop like me, but I brought one yoga DVD. I really like this this lady. I have got to get her in Fit Flutchel. So if any of you know her, hook a girl up. And then I brought these two, these new DVDs from Madonna's Heart hard candy fitness or whatever. There's four in the set. Um, but for those of you that have heard me talk about my ability to be coordinated, I am not. I can throw down the dance, okay? I can dance, well, back in my day, it's kind of been a while. Now, I don't, it's not about not being able to dance, it's about being able to dance in a routine, following other people at the same time. I don't go there. I suck at it. You will never see me in a step aerobics class because I can't follow along with people. I think too much. <laughs> Even the DVDs that I have at home, like it takes me years before I can actually do it without looking and follow along. So it's just something I don't have. But these are not as difficult. Um, I don't want to say they're not as hard of a workout, but they're not like as complicated dance moves. So you guys, I look at dance moves and they look so cool and then I try to do them even when they're showing you how to do it on a DVD and I get so pissed off <laughs> because I'll try to follow along and I'll just do one and I can't do it. So then I'm like, screw that. So I brought this one, which is um, Jawbreaker Towel. She only uses a towel for this workout. Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? But it's not. And then this one only uses a chair. So I thought these might be good to try out in a hotel room. So I always bring some DVDs too. And another thing I'm gonna be doing, and I'm only letting you see a preview of that, because I'm going to be more proactive in everything and in getting back to blogging, and um, I have all these things I always wanna tell you guys, and then I shoot my videos and I don't. Have I already gone nine minutes? Yes, I have. Um, but I'm writing down all the things that are helping me, that are helping me um, put things in place. Um, address the issues that I need to, things that have been, you know, getting in my way as far as scheduling, as far as goal setting, as far as mapping out my fitness, yet as far as, you know, eating. I was just writing to Dr. Mike Russell today and telling him, he's like, write down what you've been eating the past three days. And in my head, you know, I think, well, you know, I'm making good choices, right? Ow, I hit my knee. I am making choices, but then when I wrote out what I'm eating, I know he's going to look at that and go, did you take a, take a look at what you just wrote that you ate on Saturday, what you ate on Sunday? And I don't mean people like, I'm eating a ton of crap food or I'm eating junk. I have a feeling that my problem, a lot of my problem is, and you might think this is funny, you might think it's funny for someone to say, 
I'm not losing weight and it's because I'm not eating enough. Okay, I know enough from being around smart people and from reading enough of these books that not eating enough and then working out or, or just not eating enough in general, not the way to go. Especially if you're trying to keep your hormones in balance and whatever. I do think that is a problem of mine because um, I'll either not grocery shop and not have enough food in my house and then I'm, I'm in my office and, and I'm working late and I think that's going to be something that Mike's going to tell me is that um, overall, I, I just have a feeling that's what he's going to tell me. I could be wrong. He might be saying you're eating like a, a pig at the trough, so stop it. We'll see. But either way, as you can see, by the way, I'm dressed and I'm ready to work out. Here's what I did in the past uh, couple of days. I did shoot a vlog Sunday before I left on my flight, and I have to see if it uploaded, because um, I might post that first. But today is Tuesday, um, so Sunday, my limo is picking me up at, a, at 1, and I uh, still got up. I went for a run, because um, I'm making sure that I'm doing, you know, my goal is to do something every day. Yeah, you're supposed to have a day off or whatever, but even if I do something, it's just getting me back into consistency. Um, as I put on my blog yesterday, um, running, they're knocking on my door. Just a second! Um, running is something, hold on, um, I've been doing too much of, not enough weights, so I'm going to focus on that. And um, why do they need to be in my room? They've already cleaned my room. I don't want to stop this vlog because they're knocking on my door. I'll be there in two minutes. They're probably like, <laughs> um, anyway, so I've been doing too much running, not enough weights, not enough balance, not enough yoga. And so it's all about, yes, I'm going to keep running and I really enjoy running. Um, but it's all about making sure that we get this, this stuff taken care of. Okay. There needs to be a lot of soreness going on and I'm going to make it happen. So, um, That'll be a, a major, major goal, which is funny. It's funny that I'm doing so much like more cardio stuff because I do love cardio and I do love weights. Who's Skyping me? Um, but I have not been doing enough weights at all. So it's time to have, you know, an equal relationship with, well, yoga is not equal, but we'll have weights and cardio and yoga and happiness. Um, but I've written out all of these topics that I want to talk to you guys about and I'm going to shoot separate videos on them so you can actually have subject matter. Of course not today, which is a typical ramble on the phone. But anyway, it's Tuesday. I'm going down to the hotel gym after I shoot this. I'm going to get my weights on, have a really great workout. I've got meetings later on today and um, that's it. I think that's what I'm going to... I'm going to shut up for today. I will be back later, but... Um, so yeah, I went for a run before my workout on Sunday, before my, before my limo picked me up on Sunday, got to Boston. All I'm going to say is whenever I say the word Boston and I think the, of myself driving in the city, it makes me need Botox. And I was that stressed Sunday night. And then yesterday, um, I was going to have Monday as my day off. And then I'm like, no, let's go do something. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was almost like 65 degrees yesterday, so that's where I went for my run. I went for a run, and then it was so freaking windy that I was doing the same thing I was doing in Chicago on Sunday, which is I'm running like this, holding my holding my hat, holding my earbuds in because everything was like blowing off. I was like a wreck. It was like a garage sale. There was shit everywhere. <laughs> I just swore. Whoops. Okay, I have to go. You guys have a great day. I will be back later and talk to you then.